Hey, what's going on gang? Jeremy here and uh, excited to do this quick back office walkthrough training. I'm out here in Dubai right now and uh, exciting, exciting things are happening and uh, we wanted to take a moment and just do a back office training, back office walkthrough to show you some of the basics there. So does your team members ask, hey, how do I get around the back office? What does everything do? Uh, we can provide those answers for you. You can send them to this video and they can learn what they need to learn. So hang on, I'm gonna pull up my screen share. And we're gonna jump in here. I'm gonna log into just from the to fresh to the back office. So to get to the back office, to start with the basics, you can go to worldgn.com. And then on the top right hand side, you'll see the link that says back office. You click on that. and log in remember that your password will contain needs is required to contain at least one capital letter so make sure that you remember that when you're entering your uh, information back in so here's the back office uh, you can see here that just has your information uh, has your rank and it'll tell you how many days are left in the cycle this week and here it'll tell you if you're active or not active so let's go ahead and start there with the activation status because there's a lot of questions about that. What does it take to be active uh, in the business? And it depends on what market you're in. If you're in the North American market and the European market, uh, then it requires one thing. If you're in the international market outside of Europe and North America, then it's a different requirement for activation. So uh, in North America, the requirement is you must have one customer. You must have, here's the exact requirement, 30 SV, 30 sales volume, in personally sold volume every 30 days. So the quickest way to knock that out is simply by having enrolling one person, and if that person is on the loyalty membership, the loyalty membership is 30 SV every month, and that satisfies that. One person enrolled in the loyalty plan covers the 30 SV. Of course, anytime a product is sold or a pack is sold, uh, those points count as well, but 30 SV in personally sold volume is what makes you active. Now this is important because uh, some people think that if you have the loyalty plan, that alone makes you active. And you wanna make sure that you do have the loyalty plan, but to be considered active, you must have a customer or 30 SB in personally sold volume every 30 days. So again, that could be one person who you enroll, who's on the loyalty plan every month, that satisfies that requirement. So you can see here on the front page of your back office, you're gonna get different announcements, real-time announcements from the company, any events that are coming up or important information, you'll see down here in the banner tabs as well. You can also see from your back office that you can click on the store, which will allow you to purchase any products that we have. You can click on website to actually see what your website looks like to others as well. But we're gonna stay uh, in the back office section for right now. Uh, so let's start here with the business section because 95% of everything you'll do in your back office will come under this tab that says business. And if you click on the business tab, you'll see a whole bunch of menu options that come up under this business section. So under the business section, a quick overview here. Commissions is where you can see your past commissions that have paid out. It's also where you can see any unpaid commissions, so cycles that have completed, but the commissions are still pending. They haven't deposited yet into your account. You can see that there, uh, and we'll, we'll click through these in a moment. Strategy is where you will set your settings from left to right, so you can choose when somebody goes to your website and signs up. Whatever setting you have your strategy on before they enroll, that's where they will go. A team developer will show you the folks in your organization that are team developers. If you click on dual team, that will allow you to see your left and your right leg. If you click on generations, that will allow you to uh, see your genealogy tree, uh, first level, second level, and so on. It goes down to seven levels on your genealogy. Fast sales is where you will see your fast start commissions, so you can see uh, the personal packs you've enrolled in fast start commission history there. TVC is your team volume, team volume commission, so you can actually click on that and see how much volume you have in your left leg and in your right leg. Your money box is where you will see uh, what your 
uh, 1% loyalty bonuses app uh, ranks is where you can see your rank history, what ranks that you've hit uh, from day one in the compensation plan, and then member kit and business tools. Uh, we'll click through those, but it'll give you some great information. There's a PowerPoint there of the compensation plan. There's some different tools there uh, to help you if you want to do some printed material and things like that. So that's the business section. And we're going to go through that in just a moment in a little more detail. If you click on orders, my orders, you can see here your order history. You can also see here any orders that have been received. So other members can actually forward their orders to you while they're checking out instead of putting their credit card in. If you want to pay for their order, they simply click on uh, forward payment. They'll put your username in and you'll be able to come down here to orders received and actually pay for that in their back office. So you have your history of orders here. Uh, you have your forwarded orders and your orders received. And you can see here how that works. Uh, you can also go to my products. If you click on my products, it's going to give you an overview of what products and what plans that you have. So you'll be able to see here, like for example, here's my loyalty membership. I've been a member now for four months. So I've got 300 points that I can use for uh, purchasing products. And you can see the different products you have as a loyalty member. Here's my Space System Elite. Um, here's my Hilo app that it shows uh, that I've connected to my membership as well. Um, accounting, this is where you can manage your payout. Uh, there's gonna be two sections in this that are important. The first section here is uh, when a commission pays out, you'll see it here. You'll wanna make sure that your setting is it, it, set to auto or manual. I actually have mine on manual just uh, so that I could, I could see it come in and manually transfer it when I was ready to. But you can also set it on auto where it will transfer automatic. And then down here, you can see the history. Um, you can see here, here's my, my last uh, two deposits of on the 14th and 15th for that week, $68,641. And then here's a $4,786 uh, payout uh, uh, that we had. And you can go in here and you can look through all your uh, history there as well. You can also click on I payout. And if you click on I payout, it will take you to your actual, actual login as well. So, um, so, so that's the, uh, uh, the back office login there uh, for the accounting section. Profile is where you'll set up your information. Uh, when you click on profile, you'll be able to actually set up your uh, profile information, your user, I'm sorry, your, your, your address. Uh, if you wanna put a co-owner on there, if you wanna add a co-applicant, or you wanna add a business name uh, to your account, this is where all of those edits and changes can be made as well. Also from this My Profile section, you can also control uh, what people see as well. So you can come in here and uh, have access to that information. So let's go back to business and let's go through some of these things right now so you can see in more detail uh, what this does. So let's start with commissions. If you click through the commissions tab, do a quick rundown here with you. And you can see here's a graph of your commission history. And if you put your mouse over that graph, it'll show your weekly checks. And um, you can see that here's, here's the one I got excited about. This is the week we hit president millionaire, $73,000. And uh, that was a, a, a fun week for sure. And many more of, of those to come. Here's your pending commissions. So this would be for the last week that you haven't gotten paid on yet, hasn't deposited out yet. And you can see the accumulation of that. And then over here, you can see the actual history and you can go back and look at different dates through here and see your weekly checks. Now, one thing you wanna notice is that on, this, uh, on these weekly checks, there's gonna actually be two deposits every week. One is gonna be your own, that's your local country. So uh, that's gonna be like, uh, uh, for us, it'll be our, that's your North America business. And then there's your international or your foreign check. So these are, you'll see here that, so for example, cycle 185, has two deposits, cycle 184 has two deposits. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna break down for you and show you where those deposits are coming from. Now you can also go in guys on, on this and actually click on details. And if you click on details, it'll show you where your check came from. So you can see here that in the US, my binary check was $45,000. You can see that my fast track uh, uh, bonuses for my, for my personal enrollments that week were $812. You can see that the car bonus uh, was $1,000. You can see that the generation check match 
was right under $13,000. And then as a presidential millionaire, you also get a millionaire bonus pool, and that was $8,400 for the millionaire bonus pool. So to actually give you a breakdown of what that check consists of as well. So that's the commission section. If you click over here to strategy, under the strategy section, this is where you can change your settings from left to right. You can see right now that I have my settings on right. That means anyone who enrolls right now, uh, they would automatically go to the right leg. You have three choices. The default setting when, you, when you're new is auto. What that means is they'll put one person in the team leg, one person on the inside leg, one person on the team leg, one person on the inside leg. Then you can manually change that to left or right. Make sure when you're changing that that you click update so it saves the settings that you picked. And that's where you select your strategy. Once your strategy is set, anyone who goes to your website and enrolls will be placed into whatever setting that you have. Uh, we won't go to the team developer here. That's just going to show you the team developers in the team. We'll jump down here to dual team. And this is where you actually see your binary. So in the dual team, you can actually come in here and you'll see your structure of your left and right. Notice that our structure goes up, not down. So instead of you being at the top and the people being under you, our philosophy as a company is as leaders, we're here to serve. And so we're at the bottom and the team goes up to the left and the team goes up to the right. Now, one of the things that's cool here, guys, is you can actually click on this little search button here and you can type in a name. So, you know, for example, if I wanted to type in Jeff and Lisa, I can type in their name, it'll take me to that username spot in the binary. And so you can always do this to look and see and make sure someone's in the right place or if they have a question about where they are in the structure, you can type in their username. So that's where you see your dual team. You'll be able to see who's on the left and who's on the right. Under generations, this is where you'll see your personal enrollment tree. So you'll see your first level here and your first level is anyone who you personally enroll. So you can see here that I've enrolled 83 people on my first level, and this graph will actually go down seven levels is what you can see. Now you can click on that, and when you click on that, it'll pull in here and it'll tell you whether they're a free user or whether they bought the product. You can actually click on that person's name, and it'll show you their, their back office uh, points, how many points they have on the left, how many points they have on the right, and all of that is, is in there. And so it'll give you also their email address as well. If you need to reach out to them with an email, you have access to that information. Uh, let's go back here and you can do the same on your different levels. Um, you can see here on level two, there's 400 plus people. Uh, levels three through seven, there's over a thousand people on each level in those different levels. So you could actually click on that and you can come down here and, and see where they are and see what level they're on. This is great for someone who's running for rank advancement. So let's say that you have a leader on the team uh, that's running for rank advancement. You can actually come down here, put in their username or find their username, click on calculate, and it will show you how many points they have in the left and how many points they have in the right. So you can take a look at that and help them really know where they're at uh, in their goal or in their, in their rank advancement goal. So that's under generation. Fast sales is where you see your uh, fast start commissions. This would be your personal enrollments, people that you've personally enrolled. Um, so you can see here on 216, uh, there's 135 commissions there because I enrolled an executive pack. You can see here there's another $32 commission uh, from a basic pack. You can see that there's the $6 commissions from the loyalty memberships. And of course, you can come in here and go page by page and come through. Here's another executive pack on the 15th as well. You can see that in there. And then the six dollars, uh, you know, for the loyalty plan. So you can just see the, you know, the action there. Um, kind of neat to see people enrolling. You got to see the dates of those enrollments and uh, be able to see, um, you know, what you got paid on the fast start bonuses. If you come over here to TVC, this is where you'll see your volume on the left leg and the right leg. So uh, what's going to happen here is you. This is your main position, your first position. If in fact you're at the executive pack. Uh, the family pack and you have your three positions unlocked by being a team developer You could also look at your your left spot and your right spot. Although I haven't touched those spots at all um, they're, they're just sitting there for future use But what you want to click on is this first one here the main center you can see it's lit up It's highlighted in blue click on calculate TVC and it'll show you the volume that your team has done uh, For that week so you can see here that uh, you know this week on my left team uh, we've done president millionaire volume on the left team 
So this week, there's 299,000 points in volume. Um, as some of you heard me say, we flipped our legs. So it's funny when people say, you know, complain, oh, I have to build two legs. I'm not in a power leg. Well, guys, that left leg was my small leg. It was my inside leg. It's now my big leg. It's now my power leg. And you can see now that I've flipped my legs. And now we're putting all the heat and all the focus into the right leg. And you can see your, your volume there on the left and the right. You can also go to your money box. This will show you the uh, 1% that you've earned in the money box. And it's kind of cool, right? After four months of being a loyalty member, over $10,000 in that 1% money box. Very, very excited about that. And um, this is where you can see each week, there's a report of how much you've earned the, that week in your 1% money box. And then um, ranks, it'll just show you the ranks that you've hit in the past. And you can look through here and you can see that the different ranks as you've gone through the ranks, you can see uh, what those ranks are. If you come over here to member kit, uh, this is where you can download uh, the compensation plan. Uh, they have the international presentation as well. And uh, 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 that's, that's under the member kit section. And then business tools allows you to actually have some, uh, if you wanna do some printing, you have uh, access down here uh, to be able to come in. You can click on business. Uh, you can put your phone number, your email address. It'll actually create a world business card for you, just a basic card. So I recommend using worldgnmarketing.com uh, for business cards because it's a very professional look. But even the basic cards are great. You can print those right from your own computer. You can come in here and uh, if there's events going on and you want to uh, 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 register for those events or uh, let your make, create a badge for those events, you can do that in here as well. So uh, just a quick section there under business tools. So guys, that's the business section and pretty self-explanatory. It takes a little getting used to. I do recommend using the Chrome browser for this because the Chrome browser will allow you to utilize all the reports. The, the, it'll uh, allow any of the flash uh, we use Flash for some of the dual team reports. It'll allow all of the reports to work if you use that Chrome browser. So my orders are self-explanatory. My products are self-explanatory. Real quick, let me show you the accounting. And we want to make sure you have this set up correctly as well. This is where you're going to get your commissions and monitor your commissions. This right here is the actual wallet. This is the world global network side of the wallet. The money will come here and then transfer from here to your I payout. And so um, uh, you can set this on manual or you can set it on automatic. I have mine set to manual uh, because what I'll do sometimes is let my money accumulate there and then transfer it when I'm ready for it. Um, you can also set on auto where it'll just automatically transfer over to your I payout account. And then of course there's a complete history here as well. If you click on my iPayout, this is what will actually take you to the uh, iPayout section where you can control your withdrawals. And I'll show you a little bit of the history here. So you can see here that, so we have a maximum withdrawal limit of $10,000 a day. So you can see here that my deposit hit on the uh, 13th. You can see here is a $68,000 deposit. Here is another $4,000 deposit for that week's commission. And you can see here that I've withdrawn $10,000, $10,000, $10,000, $10,000, $10,000. So, so far this week, I've withdrawn $50,000 into my bank account. Up here, you'll see what's left over. This is your remaining balance here, your total balance. And this is where you can track and see your history of deposits and your history of withdrawals as well. You can do up to $10,000 a day. So I've already done a withdrawal for the day, but I'll still show you what that looks like. If you click on withdrawals, withdraw funds, you would come in here and you can uh, click your, your bank account. So you can set your bank accounts up in here and do a bank account. You can also order a prepaid card, uh, which I love using because the deposit show up real fast. It's great for traveling. Uh, it's got a good daily limit on it. So you can uh, use it. I love to use that on my international travels. Uh, but you have a prepaid card here as well. You select which account you want to deposit it to. You'll select the amount of money that you want to deposit. You'll click authorize. And then here is where you'll put in your PIN number. When you're setting up your account and the initial setup process, 
you're going to create a, 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 a numerical pin number that will uh, be, it'll be required every time you make a withdrawal so that they can see that, uh, that it's actually you that's making that request. So very simple to make the withdrawals. Come back here to home. If you click on my account, Sorry guys, it's loading here, I think. Oh, there it goes. If you click on my account, this will show your personal information. It's very important that when you enroll, that the information that is on your account is the same as the information that is on your checking accounts because they will verify that. Here you can see your documents. Um, these are documents that you've uploaded. Um, you can click here to upload documents as well. So when you're first setting up your account, there's two documents that you're going to want to upload that will allow you to receive commissions right away. And that document is number one, a photo ID. So that's either a driver's license or a passport. And then number two, the easiest one is a voided check. If you send in a voided check as a fax that has your address on it, uh, your name on it, that will set you up then with those two documents for direct deposit. And here under my account is where you're going to actually do that. Uh, if you go to settings, there's different options back here that you can move through. Um, <laughs> um, I, do the, I do the text message and the email um, notification, or I'm sorry, the text message notification and then, and then the email for any changes. I like that because the moment a deposit hits or a transfer is made, uh, I get a text message and then I check both because I also get an email as well. And uh, again, it's pretty pretty simple process here. Um, you can look at your past invoices. Again, your profile information, your personal information, all of that is available from that section. And then the last section here on iPayout is the prepaid card. And I recommend getting it. It's a really good looking black card, has the world logo on it. Uh, but you can just click here on order a prepaid card and they will send you that card in the mail and you can transfer funds to that card as well, just like you can to your bank account. So uh, awesome feature there with the, uh, with the prepaid cards. So that's the, uh, that's the iPayout section. If you wanna manage the cards that you have on file for your, your World Global Network back office, so maybe for your loyalty plan or for any future orders you wanna make or people are forwarding orders to you, you can come down here to My Cards. This is also under the accounting section. And here under My Cards, um, you can add the card. You see, I just have one card on here. I have my bank debit card here, but you can come in here and you can click add a card and you can always add a new card or delete an old card that you may have on file. So very simple process there to add cards and keep your cards on file uh, with, you know, with World Global Network. And then auto renew settings. Uh, very simple here. You can choose uh, your, your $59 loyalty membership. It can come out of your wallet if you'd like it to. I don't keep money in my wallet, so I have it enabled, but it's never gone. If, the, if there's not money in the wallet, then what it'll do is it'll automatically then move to the card as the second method of payment. So if, for some reason, if there's no money in the wallet and you have this checked, it'll move on to the card. If you do have money in the wallet, uh, before transferring it to iPayout, it'll take the money out of the wallet and use that. Uh, for the $59 renewal as well. And some people really, really love that. So guys, that's just a quick tour of the back office. Hopefully that uh, helps everybody. Again, um, uh, you know, super simple, you know, work your way around it. And uh, the more you use it, the more you'll learn it. I don't jump in the back office a whole lot. In fact, that was the first time this week I've even looked at my uh, TVC volume to see where I was at for the week. I'm just focused on building guys. And every now and then we check in to see what the numbers are. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty, you know, pretty simple back office once you get used to where everything is at. Again, the business tab is where 90 to 95% of your activity will take place. You'll be able to see everything under these tabs under business and accounting is where you go to manage your iPayout, manage your funds transfers and that type of thing. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, we're excited to help you rock and roll. I'm going to do another video right now and show you the enrollment process how to set up and enroll a new person the right way. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.